to the podium. The man is an innovator. He put the UFC on the map. Instrumental in the meteoric rise and fame of Conor McGregor. He's contributed to making this historic event happen. He is the president, El Jefe, of the UFC, Dana White. Thank you. What's up, Toronto? How are you today? So when we were putting this deal together, I told these guys, you don't do a world tour without stopping in Canada, baby. And as usual, you never fail to deliver, you guys. We love you very much. All right, let's get the show started. The reigning, defending, 155-pound champion of the UFC, the notorious Conor McGregor! Does this mic work? Well then, fuck that mic! On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, fuck the Mayweathers! One, two, three! No, 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 no! We can do better than that! When I count the tree, I want this entire arena to scream, fuck the Mayweathers! One, two, three, fuck the Mayweathers! He won't do shit! Do fucking nothing! And while we're at it, fuck Showtime too! You little weasel. Look at you, you little fucking weasel. I can see it in your eyes. You're a fucking bitch. Cut my mic off. Cut the champ champ's mic off. Hell no. You fucking weasel and you fucking bitch. They're trying to set me up at every turn out here. They're trying to catch me off guard. Trying to see me in an uncomfortable position. But I thrive in uncomfortable positions. There is nothing these can do to phase me. 28 years of age. I'm getting fight checks and promoter checks. When Floyd was 28, he was on Oscar De La Hoya's undercard. And that's just facts. What's up, Toronto? What's up, Ireland? Floyd is an old, weak bitch. Sing it to me. I want you to sing it to me, and I want you to dance for me. You sing it, you dance. Dance for me, boy. I'm not fucking leaving. strippers on his payroll this man has. What the fuck is he doing with that strip club? What the fuck? 50 stripper bitches on his payroll. Shout out to all the stripper bitches on his payroll. 
At least Rob Kardashian only had one. He has 50. I'm not getting off this mic. I want him to come and take this mic off me. Otherwise, I'm taking over this whole shit. It's right here. It's right here, stop me. You won't do shit. Toronto, Toronto, what a fucking city. What a city, what a city. I was here two, uh, the last, I was here one time, two years ago, three years ago. I was also on a world tour. I was also facing an unconquerable quest. I was facing the then pound for pound number one fighter on the planet, Jose Aldo. They said the same things then as they're saying now. They said I had no chance. They said I'm in over my head. They said he kicks too hard. Too many weapons. The Irish man's gonna fall short, he doesn't stand the hope. It took me 13 seconds. I just want to speak to all the bucks and pussies, all the little punda pussies, supposed experts. You're fucking crazy if you think this man stands a chance. His head is too small. One shot is all it takes me. Check the facts. I bounce shots off the I bounce heads off the canvas and dribble that shit. He tip tap toes to a decision. He's never even fought a day in his life. He's a runner. He's boxing's biggest bitch. Shout out Drizzy Drake. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. Life is so fucking good. How do I look? What the fuck is he wearing? He looks like a little breakdancer or something, a little 12 year old breakdancer, bitch. What the fuck? He's 40. You're 40 years of age. Dress your fucking age. Carrying a school bag on stage. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. 40 years old carrying a school bag. The man doesn't even fucking read. Toronto, I love you all. Thank you all so much. It's an honor for me to come here. It's a fucking honor. I love each and every one of you. Showtime executives, just know no matter what situation you put me in, I always come out on top. Whoop out.